Tishkar, the senior editor of Grub Street, New York Magazine's food blog. I know you certainly have the resources and the clout to have been able to open here, but you've of course chosen not to. What went into that decision? Is it is it something okay. you think about? All right, I want to see you oh, eat that. Oh, perfect bite. <laughs> on air. <laughs> you, in the past year, seems like you've won every award imaginable. <laughs> it's rich, but yes, it's... <laughs> it's talent. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, that's really wonderful. That's really good. After this year of going through hell to open this, does it still feel worth it? I think so far, yes. Ask me when the doors are open. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Thank I'm you so, so much for the initial tour. People often confuse Take Root as a vegetarian restaurant, but it's mm -hmm. actually vegetable forward. Yeah. What's behind that philosophy? Um, Elise comes up with the menu entirely on her own, and then I'll taste dishes, I'll put in some input, and she either says, Shut up. <laughs> or, you know, that's 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 a good that's yeah. a good idea. I like that. I like that idea. When you've already walked into a Burger King or wherever you are and you see this kind of warning and you hopefully already know that what you're getting is someone unhealthy, I don't know if a salt label is going to deter anyone. Restaurants can get shut down, which can be really damaging to a restaurant's reputation. Um, I think it is possible to bounce back and hopefully get another shot. Georgian cuisine is our best new cheap eats cuisine. Okay. We have two hachapuris, which Hachapuri. is the traditional cheese bread. I'm about to scream, this is so good. We are at Sushi on Jones. Ta-da! So at $50, this is a pretty good deal. It's not strictly traditional Japanese food. This okonomiyaki is a traditional Japanese pancake, but it's made with a different topping. It's only $12. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that so many of the cooks and servers and hosts, um, the majority of them are women, and that's just energy I love.